In this video, we want to talk about how to find a square root of a number in Python programming language using different approaches, and also how to find a square root of a bunch of numbers, I mean a list of numbers in Python programming language, again with different approaches. So please stay tuned. So first of all, let's define a variable, let's say called num. In my mind, num stands for number, but this is an arbitrary name, you can name whatever you want. And let's pass 5. And suppose that we want to find the square root of 5. In order to do so, we have different ways and we have different approaches in order to calculate the square root of a number in Python programming language. For example, the first way is to simply type num, which is that number, to the power of, to the power of 0 0.5. And that's it. And let's print this. So if I run the code, you can see here is the output. And for example, suppose that you want to calculate the square root of 5.5. And in order to do so, if I run the code again, you can see here is the output. So now let's talk about another way of doing it. And now we want to use the math module, or let's say package in Python programming language in order to find the square root of a number. So in order to do so, first of all, I should import the math package, which is used for dealing with math, mathematics, and Python programming language. Then I simply type math dot sqrt, which stands for which is which stands for square root of a number, and then I pass num, which is our number, and then I simply want to print the results. So if I run the code, we can see here is the output. And for example, if I pass five, and if I run the code again, you can see here is the output. And now let's talk about how to find the square root of a number in Python using the NumPy package, which is another famous package in Python programming language. In order to do so, first of all, I should import NumPy package as np, that's it. And then I simply type np.sqrt, which stands for square root, and I want to calculate the square root of that number, that's it. And I want to print the results, so if I run the code, you can see here is the output, and if I change the number to 5.5, and if I run the code again, you can see here is the output. Now, let's suppose that instead of one number, we have a bunch of numbers, and we want to find a square root of a bunch of numbers, I mean a list of numbers in Python programming language. So suppose that we have a list of numbers, let's say, for example, 5, 6, 7, 8.6, and, for example, 9, and we want to calculate the square root of numbers in this list. So in order to do so, we want to talk about different methods, different approaches. The first approach is, let's say, to define a, an empty list, let's say called y. And then we want to use a for loop in order to calculate the square root of each number in that list. So I simply type for every number in x, we want to calculate the square root of that number. So for example, we want to use num to the power of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And now I want to append that to the vi list, that's it. And outside the for loop, I want to print the vi, which is our result. So if I run the code, you can see here is the output. And you can see that these values are the square root of numbers in x. And also remember that instead of using this, you can use the math package as well. So you can import the math package. And then you can simply type, then you can simply type math.sqrt, math.sqrt, and it should pass number. So if I run the code again, you can see we get the same output. But to my opinion, the better way of doing it is to use NumPy package. So I import NumPy package as np, then I simply type np.sqrt, and I pass the x list. And then if I want to print the result. So if I want to print the result, and if I run the code, you can see here is that the output. And as you can see, the NumPy package is much better than the previous methods. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.